Lead is one of the oldest metals known to man. Due to it being quite common and easily extracted from the earth, it has become widely utilised. Historically, lead has predominantly been used for construction purposes, such as large pipeline networks, roofing sheets and nails. Due to lead now being known to be toxic, its usage has significantly decreased and its now major use is in lead acid batteries, such as those in cars and machinery. Lead can be found on the periodic table of elements denoted by Pb. This notation comes from the Latin word plumbum, meaning waterworks. It has an atomic number of 82, indicating it has 82 electrons and protons, but lead also carries 125 neutrons. Lead has an atomic mass of 207.2 and is very dense, weighing 11.342 grams per, per cubic centimetre. It has a melting point of 327.5 degrees Celsius and a boiling point of 1740 degrees Celsius. The electron shell configuration of lead looks like this. And the Lewis dot structure of lead looks like this, with four valence electrons. So, why is the toxic metal significant to me? Well, another common use for lead is weights and sinkers used in fishing. Sinkers and jig heads are extremely important in getting baits and soft plastic lures to the bottom where the fish lie. Lead was a perfect candidate for this as it is dense, which allows smaller yet heavier weights to be used. Also, it is soft, which came in handy when using what is called split shot sinkers. These were used by early fishermen. This is where the lead has a slit down the side of it and it is clamped onto the line. Now that lead is known to be toxic, it has been altered and biodegradable sinkers can be purchased. Here you can see a lead acetate molecule. This has oxygens double bonded up to CH3 molecules. These are then bonded to another oxygen, which is then bonded to PB or lead in the middle. Then another oxygen is bonded up to a CH3 molecule, which is double bonded back down to another oxygen. Although lead is supposed to be toxic, it tastes pretty good. Thank you for listening and I hope I was able to tell you why lead is significant for me.